Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Ellie and Why. So if you have been following me along since the beginning, when I made my first video about my bonnets, um, crochet bonnets intro, I showed you this bonnet in that video. And now after experimenting and making a bunch of bonnets, I finally have a pattern for this style. Not only am I going to show you how to make this bonnet, I'm also going to show you how to make four different sizes. So let's get into this video. Now for the yarn, I'm going to be using Yarn B Comfy Classic and this specific color is linen. And it recommends a 6.5 millimeter hook, but I'm gonna go with a six millimeter hook. And I got this yarn from Hobby Lobby. Now to start, we're going to take her yarn and make a slip knot. And take our crochet hook. And pull it tight. We're going to start with making 53 chains. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so here is my chain and there are 53. To start our first row, we're going to skip this loop and into the second loop from the hook. Go in, yarn over, pull out two loops on the hook, yarn over, and pull through both of them. And we're going to keep undoing that into each one all the way down. So we're going to single crochet into each stitch. All the way down, which will leave us with 52 stitches at the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of row one. And for the next row, I'm going to chain one and turn. Now, into this first chain. If you look closely, this is the first chain from the previous row. I'm going to go into there and do a single crochet. And into the next one, single crochet. Now I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. Skip three stitches, so one, two, three, and into the next one, single crochet, and a single crochet again. So chain three, skip three, and single crochet into the next two. Again, chain three, skip three, and single crochet, single crochet into the next one. And we're gonna keep on repeating this all the way down. I'm finishing off row two with a single crochet. One way to check if you have the right amount is counting these holes. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten holes. 
Now, to start off row 3, also, I will be referring to this row as a foundation row, because this is the foundation for our lace. So this row is called the foundation row. Now for the lace row, which is going to be row 3, we're going to chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn our work, and yarn over, and we're going to work into this hole. We're going to make a double crochet stitch, so I yarned over, insert my hook into this hole, yarn over, pull out, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And here I have one double crochet stitch in this hole. We need to have a total of five, so I'm going to yarn over and make another double crochet. Now we have two. I'm going to keep going. Three. four, five. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Five double crochets in this hole. Now, to move on, we just simply yarn over and work our next five double crochets. No slip stitching, no chaining, nothing. So pretty simple. Straight into the next hole we make another five double crochets. So two, three, four, five. And there we have it, another five double crochets into this hole. Now, let me do one more demonstration slowly to show you. So, I yarn over, I find my next hole, put my hook into the hole, not into a stitch, just into it. Grab the yarn, pull it out of the hole, and I have one, two, three. Yarn over, and pull through two. Again, yarn over, pull through two. And there you have a double crochet. Now we're going to keep making five double crochets in each hole all the way down. Okay, so I have five double crochets in my last hole over here. To finish off this row, I'm going to make my last double crochet into this very last stitch of the row. Now, for my next row, chain one. So this was the lace row. Now we're going to repeat the pattern by making the foundation row like we have, like we did in row two. So for row four, we're going to repeat row two. Single crochet, single crochet, chain three, skip three, single crochet, single crochet, chain three, skip three, and single crochet, and single crochet into the next stitch, creating these holes again. And we're going to do that all the way down I'm at the end of my row and I have a chain three over here. So now I need to make two single crochets into the next two stitches. So I'm gonna skip three, one, two, three, single crochet. And instead of trying to find the stitch from this double crochet from the previous 
row, I just go into there, into that hole over there, and single crochet. Just like that. Makes it easier. And now I chain three for my next row. Now this row is our lace row, which is the same as row three, where we do our double crochets into the hole. Five double crochets. So two, three, four, and five. And then again into the next one. And you keep repeating. And that is basically the pattern. You just keep going, repeating foundation row and lace row. So it's pretty simple. And I will be back once I get it done and I will show you guys how to make the rim of the hat. So I'm gonna crochet off camera and one, two, three, four, five. Five lace rows. So there should be five of these. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've finished the lace part of the bonnet. Here we have one, two, three, four, five of these lace pieces. And if we're going by rows, this should be the end of row 11. Now to start the rim, which will be the front of the bonnet when worn on a baby, we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now second loop from the hook, we're going to single crochet down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we have this awkward little piece. Now to make it a little more comfortable to work, I'm going to turn my work towards me. I'm going to skip. I'm basically going to overlap it like this. So basically skipping these two stitches over here and I am going to slip stitch into the third one. So I'm going to insert my hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then pull it through this loop. And then I'm going to do that again, slip stitch to the next one. And now turn my work, make sure my yarn is behind my hook. And I'm going to skip those two slips stitches that I did. And I'm going to work into the back loop, making a single crochet. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, and the last one it can be a little bit tricky to get, but it's right there. The sixth one. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to work down also only into the back loop of the stitches, making single crochet into each one of them with a total of six stitches. And 
now. This is where we slip stitch previously into the next one. We're going to slip stitch once and then into the next one. Slip stitch again. So two slip stitches. And now turn it over and work back up. And we're gonna keep going up and down all the way down the bonnet like that. Okay, so I have went all the way down and I finished the rim part. Now I'm gonna finish this off with a slip knot. Now just take some scissors, leave a bit of a tail to weave it in at the end and snip it off. Pull this tight. And now to construct the bonnet. And now to construct the bonnet, we're going to fold it in half, take our yarn, make a slip knot. Put it on our hook and tighten it like that. So we're going to be crocheting this together. You can weave it in, but I'd rather crochet it. We're going to start at the bottom of the hat and work our way up. So we're going to find our first stitch on here and put it through and the same with the back. Actually, I'm going to do it on this side. So put it through the first stitch both sides. Here's the tail. We're going to put it right in the middle here. We're going to work it in. The same for this tail, so we don't have to weave in as much stuff. Now we're going to grab the yarn and crochet. And now we're just going to keep going. Let me focus this. We're just going to keep going into each stitch on both sides, not missing it, while having our two tails in the center, and we're going to single crochet all the way down. So here's how it looks so far. And I'm going to keep single crocheting all the way down. Okay, so I have crocheted like a good distance from the beginning. And now these two ends that I've been working in, I'm just going to let it hang to the back over there. And continue crocheting all the way down. And it's going to look like this. And at the end, we're just going to snip this off. Okay, so I'm doing my very last single crochet. Now yarn over, pull through, and leave a bit of a tail to weave in and snip it off. And here it is. This is how it looks like so far. This is the back of the head, and from the inside. Now I'm going to take these two pieces of here and snip them off. Using a needle, this is a pretty big needle, 
with a big eye. I'm gonna thread the ends and weave them in. So for this specific end, I like to poke it through the top, the very tip, and pull it to the inside. And now I want to put it inside out and there's these lines over here that go straight. I just like to go into those lines. And weave it in. Okay, so I went in a good chunk of stitches like this. And now I'm going to take my scissors and snip it off. Next, I am left with this last end to weave in. And I'm going to, this is the outside of the hat. I'm going to weave in on the inside so that it's a bit hidden. So I'm just going to weave in over here. And I'm going to go back and forth about two to three times just to make sure that it's secured and doesn't come undone. Just pull that a little bit. And snip the end. And now we have it. Next, you want to make your cord for the tie, which I'm not going to be, I did off camera because I have a video on my channel that goes into detail how to do this, so I'm going to link that down below in my description. Now, before we go on to the next step, let me measure my cord to let you guys know how long I made mine. So my cord is about 23 and a half inches. And now I'm going to put it in half and lay it around the hat like this. I'm going to start with one end and these holes over here are going to make it really easy for us to thread it through just in and out. And that was the last hole. And I'm going to go in out on the rim of the hat. It's pretty stretchy, so you can just find a little hole and pull it out through here. Just like that. And now flip it over and do the same thing to this side, weaving it in and out. And that is it for the tutorial. So this was a pretty simple, cute little hat. Okay, so let me give you some measurements now. This is a zero to three month. If you measure from the very end to this end, that'd be almost five and a half. 
inches. Fourteen centimeters, and from the bottom here to the top would be about fourteen and a half inches. I mean centimeters, fourteen and a half centimeters. The next one would be. The next size up would be this one. I will leave you a little detail over here on the side for the pattern, how to adapt it. And this size has one, two, three, four, five, six laces, boxes, as in the previous pattern had only and if you count all the way around this one has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven boxes so that's a little reference for you to see if you are doing it right for this sizing and for the measurements this one is 16 and a half centimeters by 16 and a half centimeters. The next size would be a uh, 69 month size. It's the next size up. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six boxes that go up and Around there are 12. And this one is 16 and a half. by 17 and a half centimeters. And now for our last size, which I'm labeling it as nine to 12 size, but this is basically a toddler size. My two-year-old fits into this hat and the reason for that is because this yarn is really stretchy. So keep that in mind. Now this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxed laces that go up like this and around is one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, for reference, and hip measures eighteen centimeters by nineteen centimeters. One more thing to keep in mind with these hats is they do stretch out over wear, over time after your child wears it a couple times. Okay guys, thank you for watching. This is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will be back with more videos. Thank you. Bye.